Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Super happy to be here. Uh, firstly, thank you so much Microsoft for this opportunity and thank you so much to David, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'll be talking about my take on SharePoint portals and taking the use case of recreating the homepage of booking.com. Uh, so firstly, a bit about me. I'm Yuti, a UX designer from India. And I'm now based in uh, London. I work for a fintech firm named Fins, and my area of expertise are UX research, service uh, design, and visual and UI design. Uh, you can reach out to me via LinkedIn and Medium, and you guys can also check out my website as well. Uh, so let's get started. Here, a bit of an overview of what this demo is going to be like. First up is why I took up Booking.com of all the websites. Uh, what is the design goal here? And a small um, demo and all the challenges that I faced and how I overcame it when using the SharePoint portal. Uh, just want to say that why Booking.com? So the instant thought that came from a place of, of familiarity, of course. Uh, I'm simply someone who interact with the um, platform more often than not. Uh, next is because I just got introduced to SharePoint portal as a design tool because I participated in the hackathon. So what's more fun than to then exploring the platform by recreating an existing site? So the design, the layout, the user flow, the feature set, they already exist. I didn't need to spend time inventing a new structure. So just to sum it up, I was simply translating and not ideating. So this helped me. Uh, to focus purely on understanding SharePoint um, portal instead of solving two problems at once, which was design and tech, and test how SharePoint handles the real world co complexity, which was a perfect way to measure the platform strengths and uh, limits. Next up is accelerating the learning curve. So by having a clear goal and end product in mind, I could learn SharePoint features in um, context like web parts, lists, uh, Power Automate. So I wasn't starting from a blank page. I was just simply working toward a known target, which reduced the cognitive load and confusion for me. Uh, next up is encourage. It encouraged me in the perspective of design platform thinking. So uh, if I have to put it in simple words, I was just forced to think, how do I map a particular booking.com feature into SharePoint's ecosystem? Uh, of course, focus on execution and not ideation. Uh, ideating a brand new solution required user research, wireframing, and validation. And here, I wanted it to be more um, productive to focus on how to build rather than what to build. And last up is encouraging clean architecture mapping. So I thought in terms of which SharePoint web part maps to the booking.com section, like can Power Apps mimic this booking form logic, all of that sort of help in sharpening my skills in adapting to architecture to platform constraints. So moving on to the design goal here is, like I said, to recreate a modern travel booking interface within SharePoint, uh, prioritizing a clean and responsive and en en engaging user experience, and uh, obviously to maintain the brand uh, values and consistency of booking.com. Uh, also to showcase interactive UI with SharePoint web parts. So I'll just quickly dive into the demo. Um, I'm just going to play the video that I used to submit it because I no longer have the access to the SharePoint portal. Uh, so let's get started. So this is what I created while experimenting and exploring the platform. So let's create the same platform again. This is just an overview of how the entire platform is going to look like. Yeah, so uh, I kind of deleted this because I no longer needed a hero section. So I would be just putting up with this one, adding a new section here and an image. All the images that I used in the submission are going to be from this from stock. So yeah, this is the image that I want to be working with. And I decided to have an overlay, which is going to say book your next vacation with booking.com. So let me just quickly write it down. It says book your next vacation with booking.com. I kind of don't want the black square around, so I'm going to reduce the opacity to zero. I kind of use the options. And I quite like the white text on the image, but I'm going to make it bold and italic so that the readability uh, doesn't get uh, compromised and it goes a long way. I put it to 28 because that's what the minimum font size is going to be like. 
So there are no CTAs, no uh, buttons on it because I was sort of thinking that it should be um, concise. So the next thing I'm going to be offering the customers is with different uh, packages starting from Mosque, Venice and Austria in the form of UI cards. So I quickly pulled up the next um, section and got three columns sorted out here. Sorry, I just not from this one, but like I then realized that I should take one from the toolbox because it has more uh, capabilities in terms of image. And then I also got a space to put up my text. I explored the free section um, templates before and I quickly opened up stock to get my first image of mosque. Like I said that all the images are going to be from stock. So let me see my image that I want to be working with. Uh, yeah, this is the image I took it up. Putting it here, my de next destination is going to be Venice. Um, so I would be finding an image for Venice. Let me see what you've got. Uh, quite the colorful image that I took for my website. The second bit, uh, now we got the third picture sorted as well. I kind of wanted uh, the difference in the landscape. Uh, so that's why I took up that image. That up for the text, I wrote. Um, mosque in 149 euros per person so the laptop that i'm using it was quite old and it doesn't have a currency for euros as a button in it so i just copy pasted from uh, google it says starting from the 31st of march four nights all meals included so i just copy pasted it from what i was working with because in the sharepoint i was struggling with the time so there was already a website that I created initially and I was just copy pasting content from there to here and just playing around with the font size, the alignment, the font type. What I did was just put everything in bold and italic and um, just to give you a gist of how I achieved it, I just played around with the fonts, like I said, and the image, just copy pasted things from here to there. Next up, I took a three column section uh, and I realized that I no longer want that because I changed my mind that I want to get um, testimonials in my website. So I took up another section um, template from what the SharePoint already has and it ha uh, the section template I took was the one third um, left image where the one third of the entire card is given to the image and the rest is for the text. I simply took up a, talk, a stock image of a couple for example, I just browsing around and I want to go with this one. And uh, then I again played around with the text and made the entire composition from one to three. The entire thing, I want to put it in a pull quote uh, just so that it communicates to the user that this is something that the customers of booking.com has already experienced and just get everything left aligned. And this is the same thing I will be doing for next two times, because I've got three testimonials in my website. Going here, took another section template. Yeah, this time I thought that I would be putting a photo of a man, uh, just an instinct. Uh, and there is a certain text that I wanted to be here. Uh, whatever their experience working with booking.com that says that for him it says the dream come true in Bali and there was a customer from uh, London so again I just did what I did on top I just laid along with the text and uh, the overall layout and um, Microsoft really helped me in letting me know how I have messed up with the spellings and the sentence um, structures and the spacing and the overall language. So that is something which makes it easy to double check and uh, yeah, left aligned everything. Just to create a visual balance, um, that was the reason why I played around with it more often than not. Again, I went ahead with a man. And again, I put up this thing as a testimonial. Like I said, how Microsoft has helped me into knowing my spellings and uh, to not make uh, blunders. Yeah, left aligned everything in bold and in italic. 
put up an icon of a pull quote. Next up is designing the footer. Now this was a bit challenging because I quite didn't know how uh, to do that, but I took up this three column option again from the properties. I gave this a background uh, color and I typed in the text. Just copy pasted the text from here and there. If not, I would have copy pasted. I would just have put in a text box right there, wrote it down, um, selected the font type, selected the font size and the font weight. And it is that easy. It is exactly how we use the PowerPoint uh, presentation and how we used to put um, text in it. I started from my account um, and then I went down and edited the spacing, the font, and the font type. I simply did it so that it looks like that we have a typographical hierarchy to be followed. Same thing I did with the next two as well. So there was a lot of playing around with the font and the templates and the spacing, but if if I have to look at my website, all these sections I've been following each other. The properties, even if you look at the image, the text, they all have been following each other. So it is quite simple to put in the section um, templates in there. But just one of the challenge I thought is that I cannot directly copy paste it. Uh, just like it's going to be there in any other design software, but um, it, it, it was still pretty easy to use. It was not it, it just took a little bit more time than what I'm used to. Yeah. And now we have the last section to be followed, which is again going to be a text um, section, um, which is the end of the footer, which I'm putting up from the website that I created. Um, I will handle that out. It's happening. This was something which I actually found a bit uh, convenient about using the SharePoint portal is that you can really not go back. It's like you can really, uh, you really have to do control Z multiple times to get it right. And the only option left was just to delete right in. Okay, we have got one column section in here. And by this, I've added my text, which says uh, with a copyright icon, all, light, all rights are reserved for booking.com, which I made it center aligned. Let me go back and have a look at my entire home page. The first section that I have in here, I no longer need it, so I deleted that thing. Uh, this I wanted to create like an exact home page um, replica of booking.com, but with using all the features that SharePoint has to offer, this is what I came up with. I then uh, went on to publish my uh, URL, gave it a title. And we've got only an option for an email uh, preview. So it it would have been nice if I can get like an idea of how it's going to look like when I publish it. For example, if I go to booking.com page, this is email preview. It doesn't really show how the website will look like when the customer is going to use it. So I was really excited to see the preview thing works like it work in any other design platform, especially for UX and UI designers so yeah you have challenges and how i overcame it so there are certain design uh, limitations in sharepoint for which uh, i couldn't implement the pixel perfect uh, layout or um, custom animations like that in booking.com so i use the sharepoint's modern web parts um, creatively like hero image and quick links to um, simulate a similar visual experience i focused on clean layout structure and clarity ra rather than getting the exact um, replica of it the next is branding and visual constraint so couldn't use booking.com's exact fonts um, colors or icons due to sharepoint's restrictions so i used the closest sharepoint safe themed co colors to evoke the booking.com feel uh, which was focused on uh, the consistency in layout and spacing and the ux uh, pa patterns rather than getting the perfect match uh, next was an Last one is the inconsistent rendering across devices. So we as designers are sometimes we focus more on the responsiveness, which wasn't in my experience, wasn't smooth uh, across desktop and tablet and mobile. 
So it's really important to adjust these section layouts and web part alignment for mobile behavior. So I simply use the preview mode across devices to test iteratively and simplified mobile UI when needed. So that's about all. Thank you so much. I would love to hear your thoughts and would love to connect with anyone who is up for a discussion for this. So yeah, that's about all. I really hope I was in the time limit. <laughs>